If you are looking for an all-in-one solution to charge your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods, I think I have an accessory for you. What is going on, everybody? My name is Mike. Welcome back to Tech 24-7 TV. I am so glad that you are back with me today because we're talking about the Belkin Boost Charge Pro. It is a three-in-one charging solution from Belkin, $149, and it is set to eliminate all the different chargers that you have for your iPhone, for your Apple Watch, and for your AirPods. The question is, is it worth $149? Now, for me, I am upgrading from the previous generation. This is the Belkin Boost Charge from last year, and it does really the same thing, except for it doesn't have the fast charging capabilities for the Apple Watch Series 7. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox this. I'm gonna tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and whether or not you should pay the $149 for it. Let's get started. Now, this unit itself here is $149, and you can find it on Apple's website, and you can find it on Belkin's website. Those are the only two places I've been able to find it. I'll put links down in the description below. So let's open this up. So this here, now this is available in two different colors. So you got white or you have black. And I had white before and white just seemed to be held up better to dust and you know, other types of nicks and scratches. So this is nice, it feels heavier. No, I think it's just the weights distributed differently. Now this device is MagSafe certified. And what that means is it'll work with any device that has MagSafe. If you have an iPhone 11, an iPhone 10, an iPhone 8, anything else other than an iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, it will not work with this. So we just wanna reinforce that. That's because MagSafe is designed to, when you connect a MagSafe device to a MagSafe charger, you're gonna get up to 15 watts of charging. Now, when you put a non-MagSafe device on a MagSafe charger, it defaults to the lowest possible, or like the lowest common denominator, and you're not gonna get that good experience. So I would not buy this if you have a device that is not an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13, because it'd be working not as expected. Now, here, if we're looking at this, this location right here, this big charging puck, this is where you're gonna place your iPhone 12 or iPhone 13. And the problem is that if you have something that was not made for MagSafe, there was not the slip. And what would happen is because the camera module on the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max is so large, the phone would not sit properly and not connect to the you know previous Qi charging stand and you'd have this problem. And you could see, well, so it is magnetic, right? Um, it is uh, quite secure. Now, this is the area where you're going to charge your AirPods. And then here is the charging puck for the Apple Watch. Now, if you have an Apple Watch Series 7, specifically, this will fast charge your Apple Watch. If you have an Apple Watch Series 6 or earlier, one, two, three, four, five, it will not fast charge your Apple Watch. You'll get the normal conventional charging. This also flips up, so you could charge it in what they call nightstand mode. And if you're one of those people that likes to maybe put a case or some type of shield on your Apple Watch, you can use a selector tool right on the back to twist it and identify which Apple Watch you have. And you see here that dock goes up just a little bit. If I say I have a older Apple Watch or a, a different version Apple Watch, that dock becomes a flush. And here are the markings that are on the back just so you could see them. The charger that comes in the box with this is a standard wall charger and this is capable of delivering 40 watts and there's a barrel plug here on the end. Now what I'm told is that if You'll see here, this has got a US plug. And what I'm told is that if you're buying this in a region where Belkin is selling it, it's gonna come with the right uh, adapter for your region. So if you buy one from the US store, you're gonna get a US plug. You probably have to use an adapter. You wouldn't be able to swap that out. Now, at the end of the day, you need to figure out whether or not the Belkin Boost Charge Pro, as we see here, is worth $150. Now, for me, the first filter criteria that I'm gonna say is, do I have an iPhone 12 or an iPhone 13? Because that is the minimum requirement for the device to be compatible with this. Now, if I don't have that, I would say that I'm not gonna buy this. It's a waste of money, unless I'm gonna be getting it in the immediate short-term future. Money not well spent. Now, if I don't have an Apple Watch Series 7, and I have an older Apple Watch, like a six, a five, a four, a three, two, one, if you're not buying an Apple Watch Series 7 in the next six months or a year, or maybe even two years, maybe this is not even worth it because you're paying for fast charging ability that you're never gonna get the use out of because you don't have an Apple Watch Series 7. It does work with the AirPods Pro, does work with the AirPods Pro and the MagSafe charging case. It works with the AirPods 2 and MagSafe charging case and the AirPods 3 with MagSafe charging case. So it works with all those uh, different devices. It does look nice. It does solve a problem that you have that for charging your Apple Watch if you're wearing a case, that is nice as well. But there are other options that you can buy for, you know, you could buy this. Belkin still sells this product right here. Is it nice? Yes. Will it fast charge your Apple Watch Series 7? Yes. Will it charge your AirPods Pro with MagSafe charging case? Yes. Your AirPods 3? Yes. 
But again, if you don't have the latest, I would say that's probably not a good buy for you. And it's not a good buy if you have an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone 11, you need to have a MagSafe compatible iPhone. Because when you connect it to this, you are not gonna get optimized charging speeds with this. Again, it's, this is not Qi certified, it's MFI certified, which is made for iPhone. Now that is my thought process on it. Now let me know what you think about this. I also did get this, this is the fast charging dock, which I will probably end up keeping instead of keeping this because it just doesn't make sense. This is $50, this is $150 because this is a little bit more suited to my needs. So uh, if you guys want to see a review of this, let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you're looking for more accessory builds, I do have accessories coming out for the iPhone, for the iPad mini, which I've been working on for a while, and I apologize, it's not out yet, as well as some additional accessory builds for the iPad Pro. So if you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed. Hopefully you found value in this content. I am Mike, this is Tech 24 7 TV. I will talk to you in the next one.